everybody, I'm Spicy Ricey, and this is a new segment called I Can Make That. So many times on Pinterest, Facebook, Tumblr, magazines, I see stuff that I think that I can make. I'm not a bad cook, but I'm also probably not the best cook ever. So a lot of times I just forget about it and I never make it. But this segment, we're gonna do the Pinterest stuff, we're gonna do the Facebook stuff, and then uh, Mr. Spicy gets to be the lucky taste tester at the end. So our very first test, or I can make that, we'll have to think of something better, um, we'll be making pancakes in a rice cooker. Just like this one, except it's kind of attached to the wall and I'm about to rip it out of the wall. So apparently you can make one big gigantic super adorable pancake if you put it in here. And I only read the instructions once so I'm going to do it how I think you should do it. First of all, you want to make sure that you like de-stick your stuff. Even though this is a non-stick, I really don't know how this is going to go. This could go really bad. What I'm anticipating is that it's going to get stuck everywhere. I'm going to do this too. It's going to get stuck everywhere and we're going to have a big, gigantic pancake mess on our hands. So this particular mix is the Hungry Jack Extra Light and Fluffy, because we want it to be extra light and fluffy. Um, all we have to do is add water, apparently. Yeah, just add water. So we're going to do servings of 12 to 16 pancakes. That requires two cups of the mix and one and a half cups of water. And of course, I don't scissor. Hiya! I got it. Oh. <laughs> this is already going so well. I cut. I need to do two cups. That looks like a cup. Oh no. You can also learn Spanish. <laughs> oh. Just kidding. The only thing I know how to say in Spanish is Lo siento, yo no hablo español. And then Mr. Spicy already poured um, our one and a half cups of water. <laughs> That's so nice. I'm about to put this all over my face like a spa. <laughs> this is the fun part. You only have to add like eggs and oil and water. Now all I have to do is just add water. Is that like mixed so quickly to say? I think it says don't overheat. For pancakes, a bite above the rest, let your prep mix stand for three minutes. Do you want it to be a bite above the rest or do you just want to do this thing? I'm a little scared. They're already promised me light and fluffy and I don't know if I can handle a bite above the rest. It's like the difference between like deep dish and big crust. We're going to find out right now. So I'm just um, pouring. Wow, this seriously is so light and fluffy. They do not let down in the advertisement. Um, I feel like one of those flat things would have been good. A spatula. <laughs> Shut the lid. I'm going to say a little prayer for this little pancake. Please come out adorable and tasty and fluffy. And now, let's turn it on. This probably doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> so ours, it's like a iPod or like any electronical thing these age, these ages, where you just turn it on. I'm scared. Wait, I don't. Okay, ours says white rice, brown rice, or sautéed, then simmer. So I'm just gonna go with white rice. Okay, so uh, we just gotta wait now. I think we should cook up some bacon and some egg bacon and eggs to go with our pancake. Okay, so we're back. The rice cooker went off and I think it's ready to go. Uh, like I said, I only read the instructions one day. Let's rephrase that. I didn't like read the instructions. I just kind of looked at the pictures and I was just like, oh, end result is ultimate cute pancake in a rice cooker. I think I can do it. So, time is off. I'm really nervous. I hope it's fully cooked because I don't know. 
Should I open it? It's not ready yet! It's an abomination! <laughs> Okay, wait, the rule is, right? If it sticks to your fork, it's not ready, right? Maybe you should stop sticking it to the fork. It's ready. Okay. I don't even know how to grab this! I'm so scared! <laughs> is it so fluffy you can die? It's so fluffy I could die. Are you sure it's thin? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'm gonna flip it. <gasps> that's how you that's, that's how you flip a pancake. It's adorable, but also not as adorable as the one that I saw online. So that's a cake. That's a. I could. I think I could make that, and we made it. Well, like kind of, because in the picture, it's seriously like this big, but they must have done the, what was it, 33 pancakes? <laughs> like we're gonna eat 30, 30 whole, whole pancakes. It's not that messy in here. Although for sure, I would definitely do what I did where I did the whole nonstick. This is like the most beautiful, perfect, do you guys see the steam? You steam effect. I don't know why that was steam effect. I don't know, but anyway, so we, this is like semi-successful. The one in the picture was this gigantic and super round and adorable, but I think that was before they flipped it over. But look how perfect that is, and we're going to cut into it like a cake. We got our tricky baking going on. We bought some of those brown eggs. We have never brown eggs before, so that is a semi-success for that. I think I can make that. We'll see you guys next time when I see something on Pinterest, Facebook, Tumblr, anything I think I can make, and we might have some friends come. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more fun stuff like this. Maybe some fails in the future, we just don't know. I'm going to go eat my pancake.